Okay everybody, I'm out here in my jackfruit tree and I just want to show you guys. I have one, two, three and four, five, that one's a big one, and six jackfruits growing on this tree. And this is a black gold jackfruit tree. This is a soft jackfruit. And this one this morning, I noticed there was some sap coming out of the tree bark, but it's not ripe, anywhere near ripe. Uh, my neighbor told me it's because of all the rain we've been getting, but I'm going to keep it on the tree for now. Last year, these jackfruits tasted amazing. They split from all the rain we had, and somebody told me to take them off. So I took them off when they were unripe, and they still ripened up. Now, a lot of people that sell jackfruit these days, they don't let them ripen on a tree. They actually take them unripe, and they sell them, and people eat them unripe as a substitute for meat. But I like my jackfruit ripe like a fruit. So I am not taking them off. And that's this variety. This is the world's biggest or heaviest fruit when it grows to full. They can grow up to 50 pounds. And this tree I cut back, it's, you see, I don't like my trees to be tall in my house. And this one is right now, but every year after I remove, remove the last fruit, I cut it back to below the edge of the house. And let me show you some more stuff about jackfruit. This is another jackfruit I have, and this one's from seed. And for what I understand, jackfruits go really well from seed to be very like the actual fruit, as opposed to fruits that need to be grafted. So this one is from a seed, and it's uh, nothing on there yet. I've cut this back several times, but it's growing nice. And if I come here, this one is called an Excalibur Red. And my neighbor has one, which I'm going to go take you over there to take a look in a, in a moment. But this here is planted really small. And I said, should I leave it in the pot until I plant it in the ground? And he has a lot of knowledge with this. And he says, jackfruit has a, a main root that goes deep down. And if you leave it in a pot, it's not going to be enough room for it to go deep down like it likes to. So we went here and uh, I planted this in the ground. And there's two of them. He said as they grow, when they get to a certain size, then you could take out the one that doesn't look as good. And that's how you end up having two of them. So I got it right next to my bubbler from my well. So that's growing really nice. So this is another jackfruit tree that I have here. And this is a Chine jackfruit, which is supposed to be like a Champadoc fruit. Or kind of a hybrid or a mixture. The closest thing we can get to Champadoc is supposed to be right here in this Chine jackfruit. So that's growing very nicely. And here I have a Boca Champadoc, which is like a jackfruit, but it's a different type of fruit. And nobody's growing this here in Florida, these fruits that I know of, the Champadoc. But somebody told me it's not a true Champadoc. We'll see how it is. He actually gave me one, one so I have two of these plants. And this one here is in the pot, Boca Champadoc. So there's harder jackfruits, and there's softer jackfruits, and then there's Champadoc, which is a much smaller and softer type of jackfruit. So let's go take a look at my neighbor's yard and take a look. Okay, here's my neighbor's trees. This one's a Bangkok lemon tree. It's really big. And the Excalibur Red, the one he gave uh, me that I had in the ground that I just showed you, is right over here and look how it grows at the base right at the the base and he had a bunch his first year he had a ton of them so he can control these trees how long they want but these grow at the bottom so they're really nice this is the one I tasted I loved it the Excalibur red so that's the uh, Bangkok lemon and I seen one recently and it was really big and round and it looked amazing but uh, so what tell us about both these trees out of all the jackfruit varieties why did you pick these two well I picked the varieties because I, uh, I did a little research before I bought them. I never really had them before. And uh, I've just been told that they're one of the best. So you might as well get the best. Sure. Now we tasted this one, uh, the Excalibur Red. It wasn't necessarily red inside. It kind of had a reddish tint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We tasted it and it was more on the, on the, on the harder side, on the crunchier it, side. They call it crunchy. Yeah, crunchy. And uh, that one is crunchy as well, right? Exactly. That one's hard as well. Exactly. I like uh, the soft ones, but I loved this one, the Excalibur Red one. And 
Again, the first year you got this one, how many trees did you 16 have? 16 of those on the first year. 16 on the first year. This one here, this was the first year this one developed fruit and I had four, four or five of them on this year. So this one's much more productive. This year I had a bunch of them too. And I was telling them about the seeds. Show us what you're doing with the seeds here because uh, this is where I got the seeds from and I was hesitant to put them in the ground uh, so early, but he told me if you get them in the ground early, they have that long root. And uh, so look what he's doing here. Look at all these, what he did from the seeds. So I've got all these growing here. And these are the ones I have in my ground as well. And they're for sale. Yes. Anyone looking in the South Florida area looking to get the Excalibur Red, Red Jackfruit, these will come up. And you were saying you don't have to graft jackfruit. Nope. They're pretty much like seed. These are going to be pretty close to the parent plant. And uh, within three years from now, they should be producing fruit if they're grown properly. These are only 20 bucks a piece, so you can't beat the price. That's less than half of what you'd pay for them at a nursery. Yeah, 20 bucks in three years, you'll have fruit. Uh, they're not going to last long. So just contact me at the below the video, and I'll put you in touch with my neighbor here so you can pick some up if you're in the South Florida area. You don't deliver all over the world, do you? <laughs> all right, so you got to be here in the South Florida area. And maybe you could check out some of my other trees if you're in, if you come on down. But there's another view of his amazing jackfruit trees, and uh, and yeah, jackfruit's one of our favorite fruits. And it fruits is it all year? What's the when is this season? The season's now. We're here in the we're, di different type of trees have different seasons. So these particular trees are finishing up now. So uh, and I just showed him I have six on my tree right now that aren't even ripe yet. So. Right, so that's what I mean. Yours, yours is a different season than these. There's right. another variety over here that cut way back. Oh, okay. What one's that? Well, this is big as these. That was an M, uh, MA1 and it never fruited. So I cut three quarters of the tree down because I'm giving it one more chance. Sometimes when you stress the tree by, uh, by giving it an extreme chop job like that, the tree thinks it's going to die, so it'll put out fruit. It's kind of like the self-preservation of spreading the, the species around. So sure. yeah, I hope that that will do it. If it doesn't get fruit by next year, it's coming out completely. Okay, so maybe somebody, maybe it'll do better somewhere else. So we'll see what happens. We'll re revisit this. Maybe somebody will want to get the tree if it's not working here. So, yeah. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, have a fruitful life.